talked about guest funnels as a model for a guest type of interview that you might want to do, right? You might want to have potential clients funneled into your guest process to be interviewed on your show. So I do it in a couple of ways, and there are many, many different ways. We've got had lots of episodes on The Binge Factor about people who use this model of, I'm going to call it pre-sales, connections, networking, in order to funnel people into top level. It works best if it's going to be high-end goods, because it's not really worth your time to do an entire interview for something that's just going to be $29 SaaS, right? <laughs> so we want to do it for something that's high-end. But if that's your model, I know people, clients of ours who have done this and done, it makes tens of thousands of dollars a month off of their show. I know others that make hundreds of thousands of dollars because they only have to close one client a month and because their program is so high end. So it's a great model. But here's what you really need. Number one, you got to have a really dialed in profile of your ideal client. And make sure that your show is aligned with that strategy. So the kind of guests you have on that show better be aligned with that strategy. The second one, part of it is that you need to have a process by which you can find those people. It really doesn't do me any good to look for potential podcasters, aspiring podcasters, people who think they might want to be podcasters. I'm not going to find them putting that in their title on LinkedIn, but I might find speakers and authors who would like to be podcasters so I can target that. So making sure you know how you're going to find them and then how you're going to screen through whether or not they need uh, and want to come on your show, that show itself should be the driver to indicate that they want to take action in that area or that they're interested in this area or whatever that might be. So making that connection between the two pieces is critical. Then the third thing is to have a process by which you can invite people and or screen them through, right? So you might want to have a process by which you have an application that you send them through and let them apply and let them know if they're good enough. So I have on the Binge Factor, you can go to binge factor, uh, thebingefactor.com forward slash guest. And when you go there, you can see the form. And what I'm doing is I'm asking, do they have 25 episodes or more? How many episodes do they have? I'm asking them a bunch of questions about it because I only want to have in my funnel, which isn't really how we do it, but if I did have a funnel, in my faux funnel that I've created here to demonstrate for you, I want to have someone who has 100 episodes or more because that's worth a phone call with my team. And so if I have an interview with someone who has 100 episodes or more, they're active podcasters, they continue to post every single week, and they have a website, those are my key criteria for my ideal customer. See how dialed in and narrow it is? And that form screens it through. Doesn't mean I won't interview other people if they find them interesting, and doesn't mean I don't have someplace else and some other things that I can give them as value, but it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to invite them to be an interview with the expectation of funneling them through to my sales team after the call and or having a sales call right there at the end of the call might happen as well. So that's how a guest interview sales funnel ideally works.